Number 13. Predict which of the following compounds are ionic and which are covalent based on the location of their constituent atoms in the periodic table. And then we have A through K. Okay, so remember what the difference between ionic and covalent bonds are and what makes an ionic compound versus what makes a covalent compound. An ionic compound is generally a metal plus a nonmetal. So in my periodic table down below, my metals are in yellow and my nonmetals are in blue. If there comes a point in time when they're talking about metalloids, then we'll get to that. But for now, ionic co um, compounds are between metals and nonmetals. Covalent compounds, on the other hand, are when you have two nonmetals. So you would see a nonmetal plus a nonmetal. And it doesn't have to necessarily be two. It just has to be more than one um, nonmetal. So if you have three nonmetals coming together, if you have four nonmetals, that would be covalent. There's only one exception to the rule, is that if you see polyatomics, you will form an ionic bond when you have two polyatomics coming together. So now that we have that, let's try to do A. So for A, they're telling us the compound is Cl2CO. All right, so within that compound, I have Cl, which is chlorine, carbon, and oxygen. Where are those on the periodic table? Well, chlorine's right here. That's a nonmetal. Carbon's up here, and oxygen's over here. They're all nonmetals, right? Carbon, oxygen, and chlorine. So they're all nonmetals. This would be covalent. So this would be a covalent compound. Easy as that. So A's done. B, MNO. MN is manganese. It's over here. That's a metal, so you kind of automatically where, know where this is going. And oxygen is a nonmetal. As long as you see the metal, that's, that's basically it. So this would be an ionic compound. B's done. C. We have nitrogen, NCl3. So we have nitrogen and chlorine. Nitrogen is here, it's a nonmetal. Chlorine is over here again, that's also a nonmetal. So this would be a covalent compound. C's done. D, COBr2, uh, cobalt 2 bromide. So cobalt is over here, it's a metal, so you probably know what it is. And just to show you guys, bromine's over here, it's a metal and a nonmetal, so this has to be an ionic compound. Done with that one. Next, we got potassium sulfide, K2S. Potassium is over here, and S, sulfur, is over here. Metal and a nonmetal, so this one is also an ionic compound. F, CO, so this is carbon and oxygen. Carbon is over here, it's a nonmetal, and oxygen is also a nonmetal. Two nonmetals, this would be covalent compound. Let's see, where can I go from here? I guess we could go down here. So we got G, CaF2, calcium fluoride. Calcium is a metal, it's over here, and fluorine is all the way over here. So we have a metal and a nonmetal. This has to be ionic. This would be an ionic compound. H, we'll put that one up here. Hi, <laughs> HI. <laughs> so hydrogen, even though usually hydrogen's over here, remember that's the only nonmetal that's in this category. So hydrogen is a nonmetal, and so is iodine. So, two nonmetals, this would be covalent. This would be a covalent compound. I, calcium oxide. Calcium is a metal, it's over here. And oxygen is also a metal. Oh, sorry, oxygen is a nonmetal. So, calcium and oxygen, metal, nonmetal, this would be ionic. J, Let's see, where can I put J? I guess I'll put J up here. I-B-R. 
So we have iodine and bromine. Okay, so where's iodine? Iodine's over here. Bromine's right above it. Two nonmetals. So this would be a covalent compound. And then last but not least, we have K. Carbon dioxide, CO2. Carbon and oxygen. Carbon's over here. Oxygen's over here. They're both nonmetals, so this would be covalent. So this would be a covalent compound. And that's it. So all you had to do with this one was just know that ionic compounds are a metal and a nonmetal. Covalent are two or more nonmetals coming together. And that checks number 13 off. Guys, thanks so much for tuning in. Hopefully this helped. If it did, hit the like button. And if you want to subscribe to the channel, go right ahead. I wouldn't mind. <laughs> Thank you so much for coming here. Hopefully we guys are helping you in the most efficient way. I'll see you guys all in the next question. Bye-bye.